morning guys, welcome to my YouTube. I'm about to go to the gym, wearing one of my Jignor seamless outfits. I am loving trying all of these different pastel colors with my pink hair. And yes, I did burn myself trying to curl my hair. I'm not very good at girl stuff. Anyway, I'm going to take you guys to the gym with me and we're going to get this day started. Let's make a run together, I'll be by your side Before we collide And if the sky falls down on you Just beat it up Before we collide Let's make it last forever I'm ready to fly Before we collide And when the sun don't shine on you Just heat it up Before we collide Make a run together, I'll be by your side Before we collide And if the sky falls down on you Just beat it up Before we collide, Before we collide. Let's make it last forever I'm ready to fly Before we collide And the sun don't shine on you Just heat it up Before we collide which is where I would usually come after a workout if I'm going to take progress photos. I will do my workout and then I will come up here and take some photos. That's something I've done since way back when I was prepping for shows. I would always come and take photos in the same spot so that I have the same lighting. 
Uh, this room has a uh, mirror at the back and lights all around the ceiling, which if they're all actually going, the best light is obviously in the centre it's designed uh, for you to pose here. So this is where all of the progress pics have happened my entire career, really, which is kind of cool to keep coming up here even though I'm not creeping. Making a waste of how lean I am, how truly lean I am. Hey guys, so I have just pulled up outside the grocery store. I'm just gonna go and grab a Starbucks coffee. So I finished my cardio. I posted yesterday around my lifestyle right now, the way I'm training in terms of uh, my training split, how many days I'm training, cardio, etc. Uh, but also that I've been intermittent fasting very loosely. And I'm gonna explain more about that, which I will do later, but I just wanted to make a note of it right now obviously having coffee and I'm gonna have coffee with almond milk in it I've also had BCA so I've technically not fasted I'm not gonna go into the depths of that right now I'm just gonna say that technically if I'm gonna have an almond milk latte I'm technically not intermittent fasting but the reason I like intermittent fasting in the sense of eating all of my meals between a window around the middle of the day to the end of the day rather than eating in the morning is I can eat more in that period of time and also I don't get hungry until I start eating really like I can go all of the morning feel really great you know clear energy um, clear head I just feel really good uh, and then later on in the day I start eating and I can eat more in a window that's smaller so that is the way I've been intermittent fasting and the reason I'm explaining this and you may be like okay what's the point because I've kind of gone around a little bit of a circle my point is yes I am intermittent fasting but what I'm really doing is calories in calories out that's why I'm able to maintain this physique now because I'm only trying to maintain rather than trying to build muscle I'm okay with what I'm doing right now. I don't think that what I'm doing right now, particularly if I'm training in the morning, this would not be the best way to go if I was actually trying to build muscle. There are different horses with different courses, and of course, what's going to be best for you is dependent on your goals and your lifestyle. Right now, I'm finding what's great for my lifestyle in terms of just my day-to-day, -day, my kind of routine, but also the way I feel and being able to maintain a physique that I'm really happy with without restricting or worrying about food or worrying about counting calories. And I actually am not tracking anything. I have done, you know, prep diets for enough years that I can just look at portion sizes and I basically, you know, if I'm looking at X amount of chicken or X amount of sweet potato or whatever, X amount of oats, I know roughly how many grams of carbs or protein or whatever are in that from writing up nutrition plans for clients and from following them myself. So that allows me to just kind of make these guesses and just by doing that without even really being bothered about it, I have a lot of freedom whilst maintaining my results. And that, interestingly enough, is actually what I'm really aiming to do with all of my clients. I'm aiming to teach them enough about the food they're eating so that they actually can look at food and just guesstimate these portion sizes that allows them to not not be restricted to having to calculate everything, just to really live with freedom and eat the foods they enjoy um, whilst achieving their results. So you can do it and it's a lot of it is to do with knowledge and as a coach, whether it's for competitors or not, 
that's what I'm trying to actually do. I'm trying to actually teach my clients as much as I can to give them the, the knowledge and that empowerment to actually go forward into their lifestyle without having to have me as a coach all the time. They've actually learned enough to maintain that body and that lifestyle that they feel great with, feel great with, etc. So that's a double-edged sword, of course, because when you're a coach that teaches your clients so much they don't need you anymore, they don't need you anymore, um, which means I'm obviously not going to be the highest earning coach because these, these ladies that I teach so much that they can then go out and do this for themselves, um, yeah, obviously they don't need my constant support anymore, which is actually awesome because they're out there feeling empowered and that's what I want at the end of the day. I don't want a lot of clients who depend on me for their results, for me to tell them what to do. That's not at all uh, what I'm what I'm aiming to do. And I, I just don't think that's really... I would feel like I was kind of not doing what's best for my clients if that's what I was doing. Of course, it would be better for me if I didn't teach my clients too much that they didn't need me. Um, but yeah, interesting little thought. That's just how I how I operate and what's most important to me. Anyway, I want this coffee. So bad. I will come back to you guys soon. So I got this huge venti, the size of my head, literally venti almond milk latte. And I got my name right. Can you see? <laughs> um, when I say e. Americans can't understand me, some of them. And it still puzzles me because I can't hear my own accent. So when I get a coffee and they've written like Shannon or like Shanna or something, I'm like, do I sound that weird? You may think that that huge coffee is excessive. Well, I'm serious about going home and getting this work done. What I am doing is I am finalizing the series two workouts for my six week challenge. So I am going to crank through those today. What's up? I am at home. I am going to make some oats. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that, incorporating our new Gaspari collagen supplement, which I've been having with my protein powder. I've been on a couple of coaching calls, and then after I eat, I'm going to get stuck into finalizing these workouts. This is pretty much me at home during the days. These better bodies track pants are my favorite. So you can see their sweats better because I love them. They are like a high waist uh, and I actually sometimes fold the top over. Anyway, that's me fam. It's my office attire, yo. Okay, I better go again. I am just about to make my oatmeal. It's about 12.30, which means I have been fasting for about 15 hours, I guess, not including coffee and biscuits. I'm gonna make a whole nother video about intermittent fasting, um, the things I like about it, the benefits of it. I will do a whole nother video on that so that I can really go into detail on it. For now, I'm gonna make my oatmeal, my camera battery is going to die, so I'm going to show you what I do at the end. First I'm going to cook my oatmeal. So the oats were all cooked and I added in uh, French vanilla stevia before I Now, what I'm going to add in is, I'm going to go half a scoop of my fusion and then I'm going to go a full scoop of our new bone broth collagen. Uh, so collagen is great for your immune system, bone, joint and tendon support as well as digestive health. This is a new supplement from Gaspari and basically it contains the protein of half a scoop of protein. So if I use one scoop of the collagen vanilla and then half a scoop of my fusion vanilla, uh, I'm getting at 25 grams of protein. So, that and that, I'm going to mix it up, and then I'm going to sprinkle some stevia on it. My camera battery is flashing and is literally about to die, so I'm going to charge it up while I eat this, and I will come back to you soon. 